I heard about Craig Montanejos many years ago because there is this famous and super old school video called Pais de Roca, released around the year 2000, where Pedro Pons was making an impressive looking route called Exotica 8C+. It was one of the very first videos that I was watching when I was a small kid. Over the years, I knew that some of other newer routes were established, including the route El Gran Bianco. On the top of that, I was contacted by Hippie, who lives in Montanejos, and who has just written his book about psychology and strong mind in climbing. And he asked me for a bit of a help with this book, and also invited me to go to Montanejos. Bueno, pues estamos en Montanejos, en la comarca del Alto Mijares. Eh, concretamente ahora estamos en el barranco de la Maimona, que es uno de los tres cauces de ríos que pasan por aquí, en el sector Pilas Alcalinas, que es probablemente uno de los sectores más famosos para hacer escalada deportiva, porque bueno, tienes las vías de 9A y muchas vías de dificultad, aunque Montanejos también destaca mucho por las vías de multipis, ¿no? vías de varios largos. Tienes desde el estrecho de Mijares hasta las catedrales, eh, vías entre 100 y 300 metros. Escalada clásica de fisuras en caliza, vías deportivas, eh, vías sencillas, difíciles, es un, un terreno de aventura muy completo. The sector Pilas Alcalinas is very interesting as the first routes were bolted already back in the 80s, which back then had to be like super modern routes because if you consider the steepness and how modern they are climbing, it's it's really cool. Gran Bellanco es una vía que equiparon el Joaquín Lechuga, el Lechu y la Cris. Hace no sé decir el año, pero creo que era yo un niño por aquel entonces. El Gran Bellanco is a route far on the left, um, and yeah, it looked really good. It looked like I could preview uh, the moves quite well from the ground. And even though I was not really sure if this would be the day, I felt a bit tired after all the traveling that I did in the past days. And also like in my warm up in the maybe slightly sandbagged 8A plus, I didn't feel great. I felt like I got a bit too much pumped considering that it was like only 8A plus, but also considering that it was a pretty hard old school route I thought like no it's it's good and after a while I felt recovered and ready to give it a good try. This looked like it could get me out of my zone uh, but I didn't lose any confidence. I, when I was clipping this I knew that a foot slip can happen but I was back in the zone and I knew that uh, this could be a good moment. The next section I did not really expect to be very difficult, uh, but in the end it was a little more sketchy than I thought. There are some pockets, there are some finger locks and maybe like an 8B, 8B plus, uh, just this section. So it's definitely quite bouldery and you have to climb really well. I didn't lose that much power, but I definitely have to be pretty focused. So from the ground I previewed that this could be an okay rest and I was really hoping that a knee bar would work. Right knee bar to put into this hole. At first it didn't feel so good but then just after a few seconds I gained some confidence and I actually realized that it is pretty good and I could go upside down which is always a really really big help. Because if you're upside down in an e-bar, your body can be absolutely relaxed.
Having a rest in the middle of the route for an on-site route is always good because it's not only physical rest, it's also mental rest. And I find on-siting possibly even more mentally taxing because there are many more decisions that you have to make. And at the same time, it's a good opportunity to preview the next section, which I have definitely already previewed from the ground, but different perspective can often give you completely different results. <coughs> this section was possibly a bit easier than I expected. But it was a section where you already have to climb, but it's definitely takes some power endurance away. This okay hole I expected to be a bit worse. It was still nice to get a bit more rest done. And also considering that up to here it wasn't extremely difficult, I knew that the whole route is about the next section. And I definitely wanted to make sure that even if there is like one single really, really hard move, I have to be ready from the very beginning. And it could be like a move number one. So I changed my mode completely and got into the fight mode. This was just the very first day here in Montanejos. There are more sectors that I would like to try that have super hard routes, but there's also some adventure waiting for me. Stay tuned for the next video and this sequel.